good. <laughs> That's fucking fantastic. Because we had, we had Nas sitting at the same table, and the only person he said that did front on him was Prince. And he said it wasn't because he didn't want to do the record with him. The masters. Mm. It was because Nas didn't own his masters. And he nah, just, he was real like that. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> when he said Prince, that was ill. That was no, Ill. He, he, I, I had a, the song that I had called Like You'll Never See Me Again, which is one of my favorite songs. Uh, it does have a progression very close to Purple Rain. Right. And I had to go see him. I flew out to London. He was in like this hotel and I had to find it like this. It's never right. an easy thing when you're looking for Prince. So I had to find him. I had to sit with him. And I said to him, like, I love this record. It's so powerful. It's this, I, I wrote it for my grandmother. Mm. It's about like taking, seizing the moment and not letting it go and, and loving the person like you might never see them again because you know mm. how short life is. Mm. And so he felt it. He was good, and he was like, Alicia, I'm not sending these people's children to college on my shit. This shit is deep. Whoa. And he said that to me. Whoa. I was like, how could I argue? Right. You know what I mean? Like, how could you? I was like, and so he was like, I don't know what you need to do. Flip the chords up, change them around, make them like close but not quite. And wow. I promise you, I will be fine with it, but, but I can't. I can't. We have to. We have to own our shit. Oh, he was. He was he way ahead of his time. That. He was uh, way yeah. ahead of his time. Like I feel like he would have flourished now. Yeah. Now oh, it's absolutely. now is his time. Absolutely. You know he what I mean? Killed it right now. You know what I mean? Because right. he was about this forever. Right. We finally getting around. He been there. Yep. All right.